What's up, the John Squad? This is John Pellini here, your YouTube World Heritage Champion Hard Team. I'm coming to my WWE Crown Jewel review. So, here we go. What a crown jewel we had yesterday on the DDB Network on Halloween. So, let's do this. Shout out to the John Squad. So, Humberto Carlio won the 20 man battle royal on the kickoff show and was the and was the new number one contender to face AJ Styles for the United States Championship. So then after what happened here in the battle royal, our truth defeated Sunil Sin to win the 24/7 championship when both of them were eliminated from the battle royal. I thought that was pretty funny, man. I just love the 24/7 title. And then we we go on to the main show. We had Brock Lesnar defeated Kane Velasquez in under 2 minutes by Viva submission to retain the WWE championship. Which that match was just only two minutes. So then Rey Mysterio says that he wants to face Brock Lesnar next, and that's going to be exciting. Rey Mysterio beats Brock Lesnar for the WWE Championship. Then we had the OC defeated the Viking Raiders to win the Tag Team World Cup. Shocking, right? Uh, Mansoor defeated Cesaro in his home country, you know, Mansoor, so then he defeated Cesaro, and that match was just incredible yesterday, go back and rewatch it, then we had Tyson Beery defeated Braun Strowman by countout, which I thought that was pretty funny yesterday, how the way he defeated him by countout, he didn't get a pimple on him, but anyway, you gotta keep Braun Strowman still strong. Then, Arch, after the segment happened here backstage, we had the Bollywood Boys, the Sinian Brothers, and R-Truth loses the 24-7 championship to Sharnir Sin. And backstage, when R-Truth ran himself into a door, that was pretty funny right there. So then we have AJ Styles defended his United States Championship against Humberto Carrillo, and AJ Styles defeated Humberto Carrillo to de to to retain the WWE United States Championship. So then we had the first time ever in Saudi Arabia, the women wrestling, and they look like yarders by the way they were dressed up yesterday with shirts on. So, anyway, we had Natalia defeated Lacey Evans by submission, and boy, oh boy, that was some type of match. Then we had Team Hogan defeated Team Flair after Roman Reigns got the pimple on Randy Orton, and that match was in. Incredible. Go back and watch Crown Jewel, man. I'm just telling you, go back and watch it. So, I mean, the main that we had on Crown Jewel was a Falls Count Anywhere where the match cannot be stopped for any reason. We had The Fiend, Bray Wyatt, defeated Seth Rollins uh, by pinfall. And unfortunately, Seth Rollins lost, the U he lost this belt, the Universal Championship. So, my prediction is that tonight on SmackDown, right? The Miz is doing Miz TV, and Bray Wyatt's going to be on it. So I think Seth Rollins is going to show up and attack the and attack Bray Wyatt, and that's going to set up a rematch for the United for the uh, botched it right there, the Universal Championship. So that's just my prediction right there for tonight on SmackDown. With Seth Rollins maybe showing up as a surprise draft pick, you never know, but. You never know what could happen anyway in WWE. I know Seth Rollins will get his rematch, and I know he'll probably defeat The Fiend, Bray Wyatt, and we'll have to wait and see what happens as we go on from there. So that's what happens in WWE Crown Jewel with all the fireworks going off and Michael Cole saying goodnight, everyone. And Crown Jewel was pretty amazing except for the Seth Rollins losing. You know, I really don't like The Fiend. I'm not a fan of him, but... No hate. No hate. It's just my opinion. That's right. So, Seth Rollins will probably get the belt back and everything will be all good again. So, once again, the John Squad, please like this video. Leave your comments down below and subscribe for more. Thank you for joining me here on my WWE Crown Jewel review and reactions and stuff like that. I thought it was just amazing, the Crown Jewel, except for Seth Rollins losing. Because usually I thought the belts don't change hands, but usually this time it did at Crown Jewel, so.
Once again, the John Squad, please like this video. Don't forget to tap that bell on YouTube up so you don't miss up on all my videos. And subscribe for more of each and every single one of y'all. Hopefully, y'all had a safe and happy Halloween, as I did too. And I love you guys. Peace out, the rep. Peace. Love you guys. And join me tomorrow on my YouTube channel for my WWE Smackdown review. Peace out, the John Squad. I can't believe it's November 1st already, man. I can't believe it's already November. Man, oh man, oh man. Time just flies, you know. Peace.